Hi, I'm Tom Shimiak, and I have PKU. PKU is an element of me, but the bigger element of me is that I'm a filmmaker and that I teach. I teach at a university, I teach filmmaking, and I teach about 400 students. PKU is a very rare inherited metabolic disorder. Well, every baby in Britain is tested for PKU. When babies are born, they have a heel prick test when they're five days old. This is known as a newborn screening test. It's looking for other things as well as PKU. Um, it takes about four days to process the results from that blood spot. And if the phenylalanine level is high in that blood spot, that indicates that the little baby is likely to have PKU. Children who have PKU are missing in an enzyme that actually breaks down phenylalanine. Phenylalanine is just one of the building bricks of protein, but when you can't break it down properly, the levels of phenylalanine will go very high in the blood, and if untreated, it will spill over into the brain and cause brain damage. Everybody at my workplace, everybody at my university that I work at, knows that I have PKU. From my colleagues, to my bosses, to my students. They all know that I eat weird food, they all know that I bring weird food in, and they all know that I have a liver condition. And I think that that's the best way around any form of difficulties that you may have, is actually by just telling people. Telling people that you have it, that this is how it's maintained. If they don't put me in that position where I might feel uncomfortable, that they go, oh God, I won't I don't even get food offered to me because they know that I'm not supposed to have it in a sense. So a PKU diet is a low phenylalanine diet. So phenylalanine is amino acid that you find in all protein foods. So because it's found in all protein foods, then you have to be on a low protein diet so that the diet is low in phenylalanine. But you can't have a low protein diet because you'd be deficient in protein. So they need to have um, what we call a protein substitute. So for someone with PKU, it would be um, something like one of these. And they would contain all the amino acids except phenylalanine, which the body can't break down. So they have to take a drink or take tablets or take a powder made up into a drink three or four times a day. A difficulty. Um, would be maintaining good blood levels because now as my job is a university lecturer I'm not just reliant upon me being okay for myself and being coherent and concentrating for myself but also so my lessons go smooth so people actually take on board the information I do. The worst thing that they could have is if I had high levels someone that's being immature and daft and phasey actually teaching them so there's a level of responsibility that I have now within work to actually maintain good PKU levels because that's actually what should be good for the people around me, not just for me. I think it used to be very much quite an individual thing of my levels only affect me. But actually now when you're holding down jobs, holding down relationships, actually your levels affect everybody around you, not just you. If you don't treat PKU, I view it as kind of like a big scale. So at the far end of the scale is the extreme version that if you don't treat it for a severe long time, then you get brain damage. You end up in wheelchairs, you can't look after yourself. Whereas on a more day-by-day -day basis, the other end of the scale is you lose concentration or you become immature or just become a bit more phasey in your motions and movements. That's more of a day-by-day -day basis if you're running high levels for a day or two rather than prolonged weeks, which is the other end of the scale. If PKU wasn't treated, it, it does go on to cause brain damage. Um, we've been treating PKU now for over 60 years, but patients who haven't been treated, the kind of damage they will have Patients would be unable to look after themselves, they're probably unable to dress themselves, unable to, to, to talk properly, and they would have very severe difficulties.